Hello everyone, this is me Diara. Welcome to a new pick a card reading. This is um, should you wait or rather move on. Um, this is obviously a love reading. It could be about any other topic as well in your life, but for most of us this is supposed to be about love and your person, your situationship. And um, very popular readings like what do they think, how do they feel, are based on actually this exact question, right? Is it worth waiting or should I rather move on? Is there someone else, something better waiting for me out there? So let's have a look into your guy's situation. There will be um, two parts to choose from. It's either number one or number two. Make your choice, take your time with it and you know how it goes. This is an open reading. This is a general reading. I read for a lot of people all around the world. So don't take it personal. Take everything with a grain of salt. Only take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. Don't take it too extreme. You know, never make an important decision based on a card reading. Okay, you guys? So let's get started. This is supposed to be number one. This is supposed to be number two. The timestamps will be down in the description box. And um, if you ever want a personal reading, feel free to reach out to me anytime, okay? So let's have a look. What do we need to know? Pile number one and number two. I'm starting with pile number one. And yeah, I'm very curious um, what will be the result. Should you wait or rather move on? So let's have a look, a general look into your situationship. So we have the Queen of Cups and the forgiveness card. I feel like you still feel it for this person and you are a very intuitive, very emotional, very spiritual woman. You are mature, okay? You know what you want and you really, really, really con want to connect with this person. You are also um, into forgiveness. I feel like maybe there was a, in some kind of a situation in the past between you and them where you already needed to be very generous, you needed to be very open. And yeah, there was a situation based on forgiveness, whatever that means. Again, this is an open reading. It will be different for every one of us, but forgiveness played a role in this situation in whatsoever way. Maybe you needed to forgive them. Maybe they needed to forgive you because you did or said something in the past. Maybe they did or said something. Maybe you waited for them to do or to say something, but they didn't, you know. Um, so you needed to forgive each other. And yeah, this is actually something that you are very good on because you are a very generous lovely and friendly person um just naturally you know this is what the king and the, the not the king because this is the queen but the king as well but here we see the queen of cups and yeah she is very emotional very loving um very generous you know and she wants to connect so i feel speaking about you you are more than ready for any kind of connection, either with your person or someone else. And this is it. This is where you're at right now. This is why you found this reading, because you're really like at the point in your life where you're like, okay, either it's them or if it's not them, I'm leaving and I'm choosing a new direction. Boom, this is it, you know, because I don't want to waste any more time here. So let's talk about them. Let's talk about your person. Who is he? I'm reading from a woman's perspective, in love with a man, but this is not gender specific. Also, this is a timeless reading, okay? Universe has no time, so please make it yours. Whenever you find this, it will hold a message. So what do we need to know about your person? This is a very, this person is very much into status and um, money. Money and work is very important for your person. They may be a workaholic, but also, um, and this is probably something that you underestimated, this person is very much also into family. They always wanted to have a family, you know, like a wife, a house, a dog, um, children. And maybe I feel could be that your person is already taken, could be that your person is married. 
And yeah, that's the problem. That is probably why you're here in the first place, because this person is not available. And the question, should I move or move or should I wait, is also based on this fundament that actually this person is already taken and they are maybe not so um, willing to let go of their status and yeah the the whole status quo you know like being um, a man with a wife and with a family um, could be that this person in order to be with you um, maybe they would have to sacrifice something and that is the problem because they're not sure whether they want to let go, you know? So we see the, the Knight of Cups as well. Again, this is about, or this could be about forgiveness and making a move, making a step forwards. So speaking about your person, I feel and I think that they still feel it for you. They still have an eye on you. They may not show it, but I don't know whether, I mean, it depends, right? Because if they're married, it's a problem. Let's face it. But still, I feel they would be willing to, to move on with you guys. So let's see, what do they want? Who? this could be the one. Oh my goodness. But then again, yeah, healing family issues because there's definitely something going on with their family and their family life and maybe religious factors are playing a role, uh, maybe distance, but I guess not so much distance, not so much religious factors. I mean, maybe, maybe it's a combination of all these things, all these obstacles coming together. Um, attraction is there. Yes, I feel attraction is there. I feel this person truly knows um, that this connection with you is something special. You are someone special. Okay, you guys have met for a reason. Um, but still, the problem is that maybe this person is already taken. Yeah, again, forgiveness and learning. I mean, come on, you guys. And this is a live reading. Okay, I'm shuffling live. So we have this quality coming out twice here. Forgiveness and forgiving and learning. So there is actually something to learn about this situation. Actually something to forgive. Um, so is it worth waiting? It's an up and down. It's an up and down. And the chemistry, yes, the chemistry is there. That, come on, reconciliation is coming out. I think, yes. You know what, guys? Pan number one, I would say, yes, it's worth waiting. You should not yet move on. It's not an easy situation. I feel like there is a little bit up and down going on. There may have been a major fight, a major controversy between you guys, some problems that you need to face based on religion or society or whatever. Um, maybe you guys are totally different. Maybe, I don't know what, but, um, you know, just totally different. And there's something to overcome. Also, speaking about mindsets, you know, like you probably have to open up your mindset and stuff. I'm kind of getting the situation that this is a person who is very old school, very conservative and... You know, like when they married, they really meant it, you know, like they were dead serious about it to never get divorced, like till death do, do us part, you know. And now facing the situation with you coming into their life and, you know, them developing feelings for you, it's very, very difficult for them to accept that, hey, I probably have to get divorced here, you know, even though I never, ever wanted it even though maybe my family will hate me, you know, my society, my religion is probably even, you know, I don't know, against divorce and stuff, but I feel I have to do it, you know, if I want to be happy, I have to make a step forward, I have to, you know, I have to admit that I feel you and I want to be with you, with the King of Cups here, the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Coins, so... 
yes, I feel it's worth waiting for this person. It's not easy. No doubt. This is why you're here, right? But come on. Three yes cards. Especially the two of hearts, which is the soulmate card. And then the king of hearts. And this is you. Yes. It's still worth waiting. No matter how difficult it is. No matter how many um, obstacles and and you know, diversions you may have to overcome. Pile number one, I, I really feel like this person is worth waiting for them, at least a little bit more. I mean, if that feels weird to you, if you're like, no, I'm done with them, I don't even want them anymore, then stay with your opinion. As I said in the beginning, take everything with a grain of salt. But for everyone else here, who does still feel it too and who is still very entangled into you know emotions and stuff i would say it's worth um giving it another try it's worth to think about reconciliation and forgiveness obviously forgiveness is very important here i mean spirit made it pretty clear you know that there is something to forgive um they gave like ally cards three times here so we should really be willing to forgive and to overcome the obstacles and sometimes these obstacles are only in our head by the way so let's see is there anything else we need to know about you and this situation you and this person and the potential future because we don't want to talk about the past so much we want to talk about the future Let's just see. What do we need to know about the future? Wow, the lovers. The lovers, but also fantasies. So don't get lost into a dream world, okay? You have to see the situation as it is, all obstacles included. I mean, again, if this person is married, if children are involved, if this person is super, super special when it comes to, you know, um, society and what others think, um, you have to face it because it's not easy to, um, how you say that in English, you know, like maybe this person needs a bit more time and especially more time than you do. Why? Because you are free. I guess this person's not free, but you are free. So of course it's way easier for you, you know, to throw yourself in there. It's them who have to deal with other, you know, obligations before they can be totally free for you. So don't get lost into fantasies too much, but still know that with the lovers coming out, this again is approval that um, it's still worth waiting for them. And it's, yeah, just be open. This is the um, card that talks about be open to receive. Let them come to you. Don't force them, don't manipulate them, don't try to make something fit that doesn't fit, okay? At the end of the day, it's their decision. It's not yours, right? It takes two to tango. So no doubt that you still have some kind of feelings, but you know, like you need a counterpart. You need them to be open and to feel it too. And if they need a little longer, then you have to give them all the time in the world, right? But be open, be open to receive and whatever they are willing to give you, even the little steps. Um, yeah, know that bottom of the deck, we see dream coming true. This is definitely, definitely, without any doubt, a yes card. So you should not yet move on, but you should be willing to wait a bit longer, right? And yeah, just give them a new, give them another chance. And also, I wanted to say, this is something that I just heard, um, and I hope I can rephrase it in a good way so you can understand. I've heard another reader saying that sometimes your 20% is somebody else's 80%. Very often we want to be even, you know? It's like, okay, we should meet in the middle. I give something and then you give something. It should be 50-50, it should be even and eye level. But you know, sometimes reality is different. Sometimes what's 20% for you, or what you would call like, ah, oh, this is just peanuts, you know, like them texting me, 
yeah, maybe to you it's just a text mail, but for them it's 80%. It's not just 20%. It's not just a text mail. It's, it's big, you know, it's whew, a lot. And please have that in mind, pile number one, that everyone is different. And what is almost nothing to you is probably something very, very, very heavy and major to someone else. So be willing and open to understand that everyone is different and be willing to receive anything that they are willing to give to you, okay? So this is a yes. It's a yes in terms of should you wait? Is it still worth waiting? Yes, it is. It is still worth waiting. I definitely do see a potential future for you. Um, of course, this is not a guarantee. It's still an open reading on YouTube for entertainment. But I wish you only the best, you guys. Please leave a comment. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. And have a beautiful start into the new week. Namaste. Pile number two. Pile number two, should you move on or wait? Let's talk about it. Okay, the, the answer um, comes out straightforward. It's wait. Okay, wait. Wait. Before you make any decision, wait. Okay, so let's just sit here, have a drink, and let's wait what spirit want to share with you, okay? Let's talk about your person. What do we need to know about your person? They may be a little bit younger than you are, page of coins, but very down to earth. Yes, maybe young, but not naive. Down to earth, a little bit old school, very reliable, you know, um, smart definitely smart very they have an eye for details they see everything even if you feel like they don't see you yes they do they see everything they have an eye for the details and um this is a very smart a very clever person very much into money and career as well so what else do we need to know about them this person is going through a change right now this is the death card the strength and the ten of wants in reverse um one chapter has come to an end for this person i don't know what that was maybe a crisis maybe this person was hit by the pandemic and the economical um side waves by the uh, pandemic a lot and maybe they even i don't know almost lost their business but now um you know I feel like something old has come to an end here and a new chapter is coming in. This is the death card. This is a heavy card. Let's talk about the death. What do we need to know about the death card in terms of your person? Scorpio energy. Wow, love. Love and rage, Who? There's a lot going on in this person's life. Maybe a three-party situation for some of you. And maybe this person is a person who is willing to sacrifice love for, you know, money or career. I don't know, but I kind of feel that this person is probably even a bit afraid of love. Maybe they don't, they, maybe... You know, they don't even want to fall in love. And that's the problem. Because they are maybe afraid to be hurt. Afraid that, you know, if they fall in love, they kind of lose themselves. Maybe due to past experiences. Maybe this person had this one big love back in the past, years ago. Nothing to do with you. Like before they even met you, they have been in love with a woman. But this woman, you know, like she kind of destroyed this person. And from this moment, this person, you know, like they made a woe to themselves that they never ever gonna fall in love again. Something along those lines, I feel. So they sacrificed love. And they, since then, 
they've been very much into business and career and any other stuff except of love. So they are also a bit afraid of commitment. And also this person to this person, it's not so easy to make a move towards someone else. They rather prefer others to connect with them than the other way around. I mean, who isn't? Like, I think most of us, that we would always prefer that someone else is coming towards us, right? Offering something, making a move, you know, rather than being the ones who, yeah, who pursues the other party. Um, so what do we need to know about you and this person? How do they feel for you? Because this question, you know, like this reading is supposed to be something straightforward. I really want to give you an answer, um, like to the question whether it's worth or not. Yeah, this person feels attracted to you. Yes. But a lot of control issues going on. This is a very controlled person. They have their feelings, their emotions under control in every meaning of of the word and they are like stay open in reverse not so open as i said to fall in love because they are afraid let's see how they see you how does your person see you let's put all the cards into the deck again so we have all the cards in there you never know which one wants to come out sometimes cards want to come out want to show up twice so let's see, how do they see you? What do they want from you? How do they feel for you? They see you as a very, very strong woman, very strong. You um, also could be, again, you guys are connected by your job and business. Nine of Coins is a very independent woman, very strong, very connected with nature, with earth, very feminine. You see the signs on this woman's dress? This is the sign of femininity, right? So a lot of, you know, like this sign is popping up all over the place. So yeah, very feminine. Yes, they feel attracted to you. At the same time, as much you are connected to the divine feminine energies you are strong okay you know what you want and you are willing to fight for what you want it's not that you are naive and weak no you're not you are strong and this person knows or at least they feel that you want someone on eye level you know you are not willing to lower your standards neither do you want someone who's not respecting you? What else do we need to know about this person's feelings? They are waiting, the hangman. They are waiting for the perfect moment. The hierophant. Two of wands. Yeah, they are waiting. They are about to make a decision. So... What is this? Is it worth waiting? I mean, we saw the wait card coming out first in your pile. But let's, let's, let's talk about it. Is it worth waiting for this person? Yes. Yes, it is. It's worth waiting. It's worth waiting. Um, I feel there is still potential. Yes, I do. This person, again, um, I feel like this person is afraid of love. And this is probably something that you should know. Obviously, Spirit wanted you to know that it's not you, it's them, okay? <laughs> it's really like them being afraid of love, them, you know, having also some, some issues with themselves. Maybe they feel they're not good enough, maybe they feel they don't look good enough for you, or I don't know, they are too old or too young or whatever it is, you know. Um, 
So they have some self-esteem issues. Even if they don't look as if they do, they do. Okay, just know this. Um, and they are afraid of, you know, like, um, how should I translate this? You know, this is some, the victim card. They are afraid that they become a victim or maybe you, that you become a victim. You know, that is the thing here. So yes, of course, they want to be happy. This is the happy card, the happiness card. Yes, they want to be happy, but at the same time, they are very, very much afraid about it. Afraid of love, which sounds probably funny, but it's not, you know? I think this is really something they should work on. And you cannot really help them. But potential, yes, I do still see potential, yes. It, it still can happen. It, it's maybe not easy. Maybe this person needs a bit support, you know, but I see, um, I still see chances. Um, of course, this is not a guarantee. Okay, just know that I cannot guarantee you that this person will overcome their fears and whatever it is that they are carrying around. But um, I think what I can tell you is that you should wait before you make any decision, whether against or towards this person and towards this relationship, you should wait. Because probably within the next couple of days and weeks, something is about to happen that will give you more clarity about the whole situation, okay? So just sit there and wait have a good time, take care of yourself, focus on your own things, you know, the things that you need to focus on and just wait. And spirit will take care of the situation, I feel. Yeah, that's definitely something I'm, I'm getting here. Let me get you one final Oracle Angel card. Don't, you know, like, Try to make something happen. Don't manipulate. Don't shade. Just wait. Just wait and yeah. Let spirit take care of it, so to say. So your angel card is <laughs> yeah, a win-win situation. There's strength in diversity. By blending the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. Yeah, and there is so much in this card, um, like what I said before, meeting on eye level, don't get too needy, okay? Don't become a victim. Stay strong, stay independent, focus on your own stuff and let spirit help you. And then eventually, you know, when there's the right timing, yes, you can make a compromise. Yes, you can make a step forward, but wait, okay? Just wait a little bit longer because spirit will provide you the right opportunities at the right timing. Okay, I think I leave it here. I hope this helped. Thank you so much. Um, if you have any uh, reading um, requests, let me know in the comments, share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the other side. Peace out. Namaste.